In this episode, we are gonna discuss how to prepare for your computer science exams. I am Andrei, and this is the episode 7 of the Code Your 20s. Now, I know that this is the time in the year when um, exams are coming. And uh, I thought it might be a good idea to create a video in which I will explain how to like learn and prepare for them, especially for the freshers who didn't have them before. And um, firstly, I want to mention that something like basic, like more basic than everything I, I will like teach you after this, like all the tactics and all these things, it's like university it's a system meaning the exams will be containing just what you learn in um, the course they are not expecting you to come with like a theory from nowhere and like throw it there or like try to prove i know the new lagrange theorem or something that they didn't teach you in the exams you're just supposed to like reproduce what they uh, taught you in the lessons that's the truth and um, I will explain the exactly same strategy I used uh, last year when um, l last year I had like pretty good the results in the exams um, I got the highest uh, mark from my year and um, I thought that uh, if I share the way I learn will be helpful to other people too and um, saying that you need to learn just what you are supposed to learn meaning what you all have to learn from the slides then uh, we can move to like actually how to prepare for the exams and that is the first thing that i do is i create a timeline with all the things that um, like all the exams that are following and i put the time to learn for each exam for example here I uh, took six days to prepare for the compilers exam. Now you might know more about compilers. You might uh, have learned more during the year or any other variable. Then you can put like how much time you think it will take for you to learn for compilers. And then you put all the other exams in the timeline, right? So for example, I put it maths it will take me three days now I hope to and uh, now you have your timeline made and you have like a visual overview of what you need to do what's coming next how much time you have like how much you can uh, uh, do outside of learning right so having the timeline firstly you need to try to respect the timeline I know that from time to time it will not work as expected but you should aim to be learning along the timeline now after you made your timeline then you need to learn what the teachers told you to learn meaning you need to take the slides the notes or everything that they gave you to learn and start um, learning them the way i do that is i take the slides and uh, i read them twice the first time i read them and i highlight everything which is uh, important to me everything which i think that i want to uh, like remember then i take the previous year exams and i look on what they are asking you to do meaning you look at the subjects you look at the topics that uh, they want you to learn you look at the things that they are asking you to meaning like what exercises and the reason i look at the exam after i look firstly at the slides is that if i look at the exam before looking at the slides i have no clue whatsoever what's there in the exams so it's like no point so i look on the slides i make an overview of like what's the subject about then you look on the uh past year exams right so you take your past year's exam you look at the subject you look what uh, they want you to do 
Then you remember from the slides, hmm, this subject is from there, hmm, this subject is from there. And then the second time you take the slides, meaning you take the slides and like I just read them again. Um, I take notes of everything which is important to me to prepare for the exams. So everything which like I saw that was important for the exam, I take a note in my notes. If I find my notes, they're not here, right? So I take notes of what is uh, important. And on these notes, I uh, might look before the exam to like remind me everything. But if you take the notes and read them the second time, what you will see is that the notes seem like completely different, meaning you will see all the nuances and everything which you didn't see in the first time, like everything which was ambiguous, which was like harder in the first time, now will be like clear and super easy. Because if you take something and you want to write it in your notes, then when you write it, it like your mind just process what's there and it becomes clearer. So now we arrive at the point where we read all the slides and we know what they are asking in the exam. Now the next step is to do all the problem sheets. I'm sure you have like problem sheets, like problems like that, that, that you need to, to solve for the class. And I take all of these problem sheets and uh, I solve them. Uh, I solve them because firstly, they are like good exercises. Secondly, you practice so you will be prepared for the exam. And thirdly, they usually come with solutions. So you can check that you understood everything and then you can watch on their solution and you can see what they are expecting you to write in the solution, right? So you see how they are solving that um, exercise, which will help you in the exam. So now, after you learn the slides and uh, the, the problem sheets, you move to the exam. You print all like all the past year exams and uh, you are good to go. Uh, I used to solve all the past year's exams uh, because firstly, it's useful because the exam tend to repeat themselves, meaning uh, they are not exactly the same exercise, but they are like super close. And uh, when you get to the exam, you like, you already know what um, you have to do in the exams because you know how the exam look like, you know which topics, you know which one is easier, you, you are like, you are prepared for the exam, right? And you just, you just go on offense and solve what's there. Well, I hope that I like demystified how um, learning for exams should be done. Uh, I think that there is no magic or like luck or other things involved in preparing for exams. I think this is like just a basic algorithm that you need to follow in order to prepare for them. Uh, there is no magic uh, and if you don't prepare, uh, that's it. You, you don't get um, a high grade in the exams. A last point that I want to mention is that um, it's super useful for me uh, before the exam to like mentally allocate the time uh, for uh, each uh, topic. For example, suppose that tomorrow you have uh, a math exam then you know that the exam will take two hours. But uh, you, when you go there, you need to um, have in mind like how much time you want to devote to each subject and how much time you want to have free at the end to have a look again on the exams or like look for mistakes. So on a two hours exam, you can say, hmm, I will spend uh, 30 minutes on the first topic and um, an hour and 10 minutes on the second one. Now, after an hour and 14 minutes, I should be finished with everything in the exam. So you will have 20 minutes to um, look for mistakes 
or in case something takes more than you expected, you have these 20 minutes as like an emergency to solve that. And uh, this is pretty much everything. Um, if you are looking for tips, strategies, uh, some fast uh, shortcuts, there is no such thing. Uh, this is everything of how to learn for exams. I hope this was useful to you. I hope I could help. And um, thank you for watching.